Hello everyone, welcome back to Make It Clever. My name is Chad Bradle, and today I'd like to share with you a little experiment I did using mirror tiles that you get in those six packs for about $10 at Home Depot and such, and some different types of paints. Now, I went out and purchased these pack of mirrors like so many of you have, including myself obviously, and while using tape and glue sticks i found that my parts still peeled up off of it and i just find that very unacceptable since i'm only printing with pla i did this using both a heated bed and a non-heated bed and i was still having parts peel up now being myself i like to try different things whether they're unconventional or whatnot now the one i'm going to share with you is from a can of engine enamel spray paint it is a high heat resistant paint and I wanted to see how it was going to fare as an adhesive. And that might seem kind of weird to say a paint will be an adhesive, but it actually did a great job. Now, before I painted my mirror tile, I actually had taken the reverse side of the mirror tile using a 60 grit block of sanding paper, well, sanding sponge, I should say, sanded it really well. And then I was actually printing onto that and it did a really good job just printing onto the mirror with no adhesives and whatever. But the problem I found was any parts that were, let's say, inside of a model and they didn't have a brim, they started to curl. This is one of those pieces that happened to fail on me right in the middle here. I got a brim around the edge, but right in the middle, this curled up. So I knew that that was not going to be the ultimate solution for me, which is why I went and looked up this paint or found this paint, I should say, and I tried it. So I took that mirror tile and I took the high heat resistant paint and I put on one good coating, obviously in a well ventilated area, wearing a mask. Make sure you follow proper safety precautions before you deal with something like this because it's very toxic. And then once I did that, I let it cure for about an hour. And then I actually brought it in and set it on my build surface here and let it cure for about an hour at about 70 degrees Celsius. I just turned my heat bed up and I just let it sit on it to help cure it even further. After that, I went ahead and printed to it and prints were sticking very well to it. But there is a huge downside to this. And this is actually why while i'm telling you you know this is an experiment and i wanted to share my results of this experiment i can't actually recommend you doing this at the same time unless you're using your 3d printer specifically for things that will only get painted the problem is for whatever reason despite the description on the can when you print to it it leaves a coating of a fine amount of black paint on your part and so you'll have to wash it off and go from there but if you're using this to make models and you're gonna paint that's probably not gonna be too big of a deal it's a big deal to me because I'm gonna want to print things that are kids safe or food safe anything like that so I will not be using this but I still wanted to share it with you and let you know that it exists and maybe it's something you want to try but yeah, I mean, this is it. It's black. It's got an interesting feel. And when you print to it, it leaves a pattern on here. And the other thing is when you go to wash this with alcohol, it, <laughs> it takes the paint off. So that was the other reason why I wasn't going to use it. Because I could tell it was just taking the paint right off of it. Despite the fact that it's a chemical resistant paint it's supposed to be resistant to gasoline and oil and i would think alcohol would fall under that category but apparently not but anyways i just wanted to share that fun little experiment with you if it's something that interests you you're welcome to give it a try just be safe and know what your results are going to be and know that it is not going to be for everyone now while i'm trying different things i did go ahead and purchase one of those build surfaces you can get uh, on Amazon. And I'm going to share that in probably the video following this one. And then following that one, I'm going to be trying something else with that build surface. But you'll have to, you know, stay tuned. 
and see what it looks like. You're going to enjoy it, I think. I think I'm going to enjoy it, hopefully. But that's all I've got for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Please like, share, subscribe. Shoot a comment down below. Tell me what your thoughts are on this. Maybe you tried something interesting. I, I would really like to know if you guys tried anything that was out of the norm as far as trying to create some type of bed adhesion uh, other than using tape or glue sticks. So please let me know what you think. Again, my name's Chad Bradle. Thanks. Take care.